What up, Satemangale here, the Reverend of the Revolution. Welcome to your daily revolution. Today's topic, put yourself out there or die not doing it. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hey, I'm here, sitting here with a very, very special guest, a brother of mine, a business partner, our lead coach in our game, brother Nate Bailey. Nate Bailey, say what's up to everybody. What's up, everybody? Look, we're just going to have a really open conversation here. I'm going to put my phone down. Yes, guys, I'm shooting my podcast on an iPhone, not some expensive mic. So, look, Nate and I, we're just going to have a really candid conversation because we're sitting here with, uh, you know, stage and easels and bags and journals and water bottles. And we've got a two-day event coming up here, which by the time you listen to this, we will be in our event. So, but this all came up because Coach Nate said something. I'm going to have him just, we're just going to have an open conversation and let you listen in on some of the things that we're talking about now. So Coach Nate, and look, before I introduce Coach Nate to you, look, I met Coach Nate four years ago. He was coming through a program that I was coaching, and the dude was large and in charge. He was like 280 pounds and out of shape, had a CrossFit gym, insurance business, real estate, and, you know, husband, father, college football player, military leader um like he's done a lot he's incredible now he's my business partner and one of our speakers one of our trainers one of our coaches like the coach and so just to give you context of who this man is and what he is saying so with that said coach Nate, it's great to have you here man thank you appreciate it so look coach nate why don't you just fill in the audience on this conversation that we were just having a moment ago about you know we're here and you're Rucking with a, 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 Navy, a, former, a Navy SEAL, once a SEAL, always a SEAL, and just to share some thoughts just to give our audience some context of uh, what we're talking about, like, right, just do it now, start, get it out, or, you know, put yourself out there where you're going you're gonna to die not doing it. Yeah, I just, ha I just had the thought that, um, <clears throat> so we have, we have speakers coming to our event, and these speakers have accomplished a ton in their own right. And that's the reason that they're on the stage. But the only reason that, that they are coming to us is because, like, myself and, and Coach Satema here, we, we've put in the reps. We've put in the time. We've invested in ourselves. Like, I, was on a, I went on a, a ruck, a weighted hike, with a guy that I really, really look up to. And I am not on that hike. He is not coming to our event to speak. It, Coach Tree Floyd McClendon. He is running for Congress in Texas. He was a 25-year Navy veteran, 15 years as a Navy SEAL. And I went through an event called SEAL Fit Kokoro, like this extremely hard phys physical, mental, emotional challenge for 52 hours straight to give us a little taste of what people that are actually going in to become Navy SEALs go through. And I met Floyd, Coach Tree, at Kokoro. And uh, I just had the so much respect for this guy and 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 never in a million years thought that he would actually be on our stage if three years later but here we are he's coming to speak in our group he's he's also um and i'm and i do a hike with him i, I spent time with him and his wife today like and he's in the middle of running for congress in texas and so you know the thought is is that you are never going to get to where you want to go unless you're willing to put yourself in uncomfortable places. Like leading into Kokoro, everything about me did not want to go because it, afraid, not sure if I could do it, not sure if I was worthy, like just, you know, not sure if I was prepared, all of these unknowns. And yet I still stepped into that to see if I had what it would take. I've, I've invested in myself heavily. We're coaches and, we, and we've invested in ourselves into coaches as well. And so some of the speakers that we have coming down these stages, that they're people that we've invested with. Joe Williams, he, he spoke with Tony Robbins for 15, 20 years as his lead speaker and trainer. And here he is, he's gonna be in our room with our clients. And, and so it's just like, it's just hitting me that it's just so incredible the people that are in my life, but it didn't happen by m mistake. Now, look, I got to say this too, Nate, you know, I said earlier he was a large dude, dude the dude's down in the, like 220, 230. And the coach Nate, by the way, like you got to know, right, he runs hundreds of miles. <laughs> like he's, he wrote a book called 100 Mile Mindset. And um, there's, an, again, another perfect example, right? Coach Nate, you had the idea to, to go run 100 miles and then 
then you wrote a book. Tell the audience about, because this is about putting yourself out there. You, you ran 100 miles, you did it a few times, and then you decided to write a book. Tell me about that. Like, that's putting yourself out there. You wrote a book, and by the way, my son, who's 10 years old, <laughs> reads the book, <clears throat> writes an article, or a one, an article, a one-page report, and then he has to give me a verbal report. He gives Coach Nate this long message of what he learned, and I was like, wow, like, he, you know, it was amazing. So we'll get to that's that in a little bit. Like, yeah. tell me, like, you know, people are like, I'm gonna write a book. You've written a few books, so you're putting yourself out there. Tell the audience, like, yeah, how does this work? How does it work for them to put themselves out there? Why you wrote the book and how you wrote the book? Yeah, so 100 Mile Mindset, I, again, putting myself in situations that, like, it's one thing that you to say that you wanna do something, and then it's a whole nother thing to actually go out and do it. And so I decided, to, I wanted to see if I could run 100 miles, and I failed twice. Ran 64 miles the first time, and then a few months later ran 76 miles, and, and eventually, within about an eight-month period, I finally completed 100 miles uh, in the Pony Express 100 last October 2018. And, um, and then, yeah, it's, and as a coach, right, to communicate, to impact, to, to inspire and motivate others, it's one thing to go through an experience and then just move on to the next thing. It's a whole nother thing when you go into life and you're extracting lessons and then you put those uh, ideas and lessons and experiences together inside of a book or a podcast or whatever it might be so that someone else could actually read the book, just like Satema said with his kid, so cool to, to get a message. He read the book, he left this awesome message about, like he really read it and he really learned some things and, and took some things that you know, potentially are going to impact him in his life at such a very young age. And so to be able to do that, you know, you're kind of robbing others. If you go through life with these amazing experiences, but you don't share them with anyone. And so that's the power of like writing a book today. Anyone can write a book, but a lot of people think about writing a book and very few actually do it. So question on this, can put yourself out there. Why do people not do the book because again guys you gotta understand nate coach nate has a podcast so in this link right well i'll give you well it's called championship leadership right yeah it's uh <clears throat> right he he got this podcast he's got books coach nate is an awesome example of putting yourself out there even if nobody knows who you are like i've done the same thing so coach nate why do people not put themselves out there? Why do they not start the podcast? Why do they not write the book? Why do they not do the event? Why do they not go after the things and put themselves out there? Because of all the same thoughts and stories that, that I tell myself of like, who, no one's gonna listen. Who, who am I to think that I should go out and write a book or start a podcast? You know, who am I to think that anyone's gonna wanna listen? Um, you know, just, just these limiting beliefs that we have, and I have the same ones, right? But, you know, what do you want? What do you, what do you really want inside of your life? Do you want to, you know, continue to just live and allow others to, to determine your actions? Or are you willing to actually go out and create the life that you want? I've had some experiences where I've just, it, just of great reminders, unfortunately, that life is not guaranteed. Life is very short. And the second that you can realize that, you won't listen to those thoughts as they come. You'll still have them, and then you'll just do it anyways because there are no guarantees. Time is the only um, true asset that we really have, and uh, we, we all get the same amount of it. And so what are you gonna do with the time that you have knowing that you know, it's not guaranteed? Tomorrow is not guaranteed, so, so don't wait. And you know, if you want to, if you have a message, and you want to write the book or do the podcast, go do it. And eventually people will start to listen. And eventually people that you never thought would be in your world end up being in your world. But it's not by chance. It's because you created it. You know, I love it. So again, we're here in Dallas. We're just, we're setting up the room. You know, we're, we're waiting for our other people to show up. And we we're just talking about how you know, these speakers that we have coming, they're not even, they're not just, they're business owners, right? They run businesses, they're up, they're, they're, they got employees and people and big things and, 
And we are not here if we don't put ourselves out there. Like if, for example, look, I do this podcast. I shoot the podcast on my iPhone, right? Do you guys listen to my podcast? It's on my iPhone. Why? Because I want to shoot it wherever I'm at. I don't want to have to wait, get in my studio. I'm just like, and I'm sure eventually I have a cool studio and have some cool videos and, you know, do what other people are doing. But I'm like, until then, I'm 200 and some 60 plus episodes in and I do it on my iPhone and I've been shooting this podcast and here's another reason why you got to put yourself out there. So just a couple days ago, I'm on a stage in front of, you know, 3,500 people in Los Angeles Convention Center. Gary V is on the stage. Ty Lopez is on the stage. Gene Simmons, right? Rock and roll. Like hundred millionaire, nine figure. I mean, he might even be a billion. He's got businesses all over. Sherry Tree, right? Homegirl Sherry Tree, take it to the bank. And other like big influencers are on the stage. Joseph McClendon, like Tony's right hand man. He's the only other guy right now on the stage, Tony. And the reason I was on the stage is because I've been putting myself out there through my podcast. Well, the president, El Presidente of the company, hears my podcast. And he listens to it and he reaches out to me. It's like, hey, man, I really love your podcast. How would you like to be on a bigger stage? Now, you know, we, we had some hot chocolate and coffee, right? Because uh, we sat down, I think, maybe two years ago, had a conversation about books and, you know, just at the local Starbucks in our area and... All of a sudden, right, again, putting yourself out there, putting yourself out there. Nate, you, I mean, tell the audience quickly about an event you did early on when, when you first started in the coaching. What did that, that event look like when you first started doing your own thing back in Minnesota? <laughs> um, yeah, I still owned the CrossFit gym, and I knew that I wanted to be a coach, and I started from where I was at. I, I invited like six or seven buddies of mine and asked them to come to this event and they're like they don't even know what the heck it is or what's going on <laughs> <laughs> but they could just tell that that I really wanted them to be there from the the tone or the excitement in my voice and so they showed up and literally in the the back room of a CrossFit gym on an old whiteboard I we had conversations and I had them doing like holding weights over their head and doing different exercises and uh, that was the start like four and a half years ago, invited some friends to a free event that they didn't really even know what they were getting into. I uh, had an amazing night and three of them ended up investing, like paying me, I think a thousand dollars at the time a piece uh, to, to, uh, to go through like a, a six month program with me. And it was amazing. And, <clears throat> and I had a, just like the podcast, just like the book, just like everything else. There was all the, I was telling myself all the reasons of why I shouldn't do it and why no one would want to come and why no one would want to pay me. And had I listened to those, I'd, I definitely wouldn't be sitting here um, today. It's amazing. See, Coach Nate, this is his event at his CrossFit gym. I did the same thing 10, 11, 12 years ago. I was doing events in Utah, and no one was coming. And I was, like, begging people to come to my event, and I was trying to collect $400 for them to come, and then I'd charge them, like, 50 bucks, and I was in the hole, and I was negative, and I just – kept putting myself out there because it's what I wanted. I wanted to make a difference. Like Coach Nate, I wanted to change lives. And here we are with Coach Nate and myself, right? We've run dozens upon dozens upon dozens upon dozens of events. And when we say events, right, our events are anywhere from a $97 ticket up to a $10,000 ticket. And right now, like we run intense events, and this is one of our events, right? This this event is a VIP 50. It's a $2,500 ticket to be in the room, and there's only 50 people in the room. And I share that the the price tag with you, just so you know, we didn't start here. Right? Immersion is $7,500. We didn't start there. Nate started in his CrossFit gym, his box. I started at Noah's in a, a place called Noah's in Utah. And like, again, one of my funny stories is I had 150 chairs set up for this one event and three people showed up and I was streaming it on Ustream and I was like, how many of you are ready to change your life? Because I was streaming on Ustream back. I don't think Ustream is around anymore. One person got up and walked out and for 45 <laughs> minutes, I was dripping sweat. 150 chairs, you gotta, that's a lot of chairs. <laughs> Two people, 
And this was before like smartphones, so they, it's not like they could just surf on their phone, right? They just sat there and watched me dripping. And when I got done, like, you know, they were like, hey, thanks so much. And, they, and I just sat there and I cried. I was like, oh my gosh. Like, what? But I just, I never stopped. So we share this podcast with you because you got to put yourself out there. Like blogs, content, video, Instagram posts, Facebook posts, Twitter, content, podcasts, videos. Like, if that is your, right, your wheelhouse, your sandbox, do it. Put yourself out there. Like, what are you waiting for? Nate's got three books. He's got podcasts. I've got the, a few books. I've got a podcast. You're listening to it. We've got videos. We've got events. We've got, we get paid to speak on stages. We've got amazing clients that we get to coach. And we love what we do. I mean, so what's the point of this, right? Put yourself out there. Make the connections. Get into a room with other people. Go introduce yourself to people. I remember being backstage here just a couple days ago. Right? Joseph McClendon. Yeah, this dude's a big dog. And there's a picture of me and him on my uh, Instagram. It looks like The Rock and Kevin Hart. You had to go check that out. In fact, we might pull, we might have that picture in this one because it's just hilarious. And you know, my point of sharing this is, I went up to him and shook his hand. And I'm not going to be all like, "Oh my gosh, I'm such a big fan." It's just like, "Hey, man, I appreciate your work." And professionals love professionals. You know, experts love experts. And we connected. And it was great. And so, why do I share this on the podcast? Look, time's ticking. You know, trees here. We got Joe Williams here. We got Gary Brackett. Gary uh, Gary Brackett, Indianapolis Colts, Super Bowl champion. Played like nine or ten years in the league. Was a baller. Like undrafted free agent. Ends up being a starter. You know, you, you get around guys who are just up to big things. Jenny, just, it's amazing. So my whole thing with this podcast is put yourself out there. Like stop waiting. Stop you know, procrastinating and making up these stories. You know, and Nate talked about the, the who am I? We call it, I call it the WAI syndrome. Well, who am I to do that? Well, who am I to write a book? Well, who am I to do a podcast? Well, who am I to be an influencer? Well, who am I to run an international business? It's, it's if you want to. So Kate, Coach Nate, any other, any other thoughts, final words, encouragement, or call to actions you have for uh, the, the for the millions and millions of listeners of the Your <laughs> Daily Revolution podcast. Yeah, it would just simply be when that resistance comes up, like that's just a sign to do the thing that you're trying to tell yourself not to. Like if you can listen to that and just take it as a sign to move forward in spite of it, just do it. I hope you guys heard that. When the resistance comes up, what'd you say one more time, Coach Nate? When, when they feel resistance, give, give us some other words for resistance. Yeah, when you, when you feel the resistance or the enemy, right? The, the thing that's trying to keep you from doing what you actually want to, like some call it the monkey brain or the lizard brain that's trying to tell you, like keep you comfortable, keep you safe, but really comfort kills. And so if you really want to grow and you really want to write the book or put a message out or impact people, like you are worthy. And the next time that resistance rises, you feel it, just lean into it, like move through it. I got, I got a question, Nate. So well, this is coming. We're going to end this, but like, this is very important. What are, what is the enemy sound like for people? What does the resistance sound like to someone's brain? Like, how would they know? Like, oh my gosh, that's the resistance. What, is, what are those stories or voices like in someone's head when they have that resistance? Yeah, I think, I think there, there's even a physical reaction for some people, right? You get tense. You might even, like your body might tingle a little bit or like you might even get short of breath. You, anxiety, you get scared, a little stressed. Like that's a good thing. And you know, one of the voices for me, so right, there's the physical reaction. And one of the stories, the voices that when, when it's the resistance for Satema, it's like, it sounds like this in my head. And you're, you're not good enough. Dude, no one's going to listen to you. No one's, no one's going to want to be around you. Dude, no one's like, who's going to listen to your podcast, Satema? Who's going to read your book, Satema? Ain't no one. Man, you're just a Samoan kid from Utah. Man, you're not, you, you, don't, you don't sound like Tony Rock. Like, that's what it sounds like to me. 
And when I hear those voices, right, again, then, then there's a physical reaction. And sometimes I get short of breath and I get nervous and anxious. So identify what those are for you, right? You've got voices of the resistance, voices of the enemy that would have you play really, really small. And as Coach Nate just said, uh, take action, right? Do it. Get, get into it. Lean into it. Um, Coach Nate, anything else you want to share before we wrap this one up? That's it. That's it, guys. So look, here, here's my call to action to you. If there's something in your life right now that you have been sitting on, an idea, a business, maybe three businesses, a book, a podcast, a relationship, you know, some of you are listening to this and you're younger and you're single and you're like, oh my gosh, maybe I don't run a business, but man, there's this hottie or there's this good looking dude I want to go approach. Like, what are you waiting for? Go do it. Now, obviously, you have some tact, right? Be powerful about it. Use your whatever humor, um, being shy, like whatever, whatever tactics, I'll put it that way. But put yourself out there. Go do that thing, right? Go lean into it. And again, we're here at VIP 50 because you know, Coach Nate and I, we had dreams to go do something big, and we're doing it. And next week, I'm going to be on a stage in New York with Gary V and Damon John of the Sharks Tank. Uh, and Coach Nino, you know, I, I ran a half marathon. And I never thought I'd do that because, again, Coach Nate running hundreds of miles, running his 50Ks on the weekend for fun because we're doing it. So, look, check out uh, the links in here. We'll put those out here in the blog. But actually, Coach Nate, just like what's your handles on social media and what's the name of your podcast so for our people know how to find you? Yeah, so you could find me on uh, Instagram at Coach Nate Bailey. Uh, two different podcasts. I have a champ championship leadership podcast that is an interview style, and, and I get to interview a lot of incredibly successful people across all different areas, industries, professions. And then uh, Integrity Bank is the other podcast. It's a, a daily, short, four to five, six minute, inspirational, motivational type message that also will give you some actionable things that you could take for free and go change your life. All right, check out Coach Nate Bailey. He's uh, my business partner and our coach inside of the game of immersion, Circle of Champions. He's got his right, integrity bank. He's got championship leadership. He's on Instagram. He's on Facebook. And uh, he's also got a few books. So check him out. And look, thanks for listening to the podcast. Here's what I ask of you, too. Like, if there's any value here, go leave a review on iTunes or YouTube. Share this with someone. That's all I ask. I'm not going to charge you money for the podcast, but share this with somebody. If there's value, share. If there's no value, no need to share. But it's my hope that you got value out of this. Have an amazing day. I appreciate you listening to the podcast. And uh, until next time, I'm out. For more info on joining the revolution and living your greatest life of prosperity today, go to www.yourdailyrevolution.com and join us in waking up, turning your brain on, and prospering today.